I know Thanksgiving is over, but I have a lot of things to be thankful for. And I'm thankful to Nate for introducing me to Internet Historian mm -hmm. because every single time that this guy drops a video, I am excited about trying to figure out what he's going to be talking about if I've ever known of the situation because right. very rarely has that ever happened. Right. And like where he's going to go with it. And he got yeah, he goes into such like detail and yeah. when it's like in the field it's like really funny, you never know where it's going to go. Yes. But with story mode like yeah, I usually have never heard of it, so it's always something that's like, oh, that's super interesting that I didn't know. Well, on his main channel, I don't think he's uploaded. I mean, it's been forever. Mm -hmm. So, like, incognito mode has become this where we the can go to. The go to, like, where we can expect to see him upload mm -hmm. some shit. And so we were just streaming a minute ago, and somebody, uh, the real George Washington, was that's it? who it was, yeah, was like, um, he just dropped a video and they were like yeah it's a fucking halloween special in december well you know that there's really like no wrong time to drop for, anything for halloween because yeah. if you're in the month of october it's golden right you're you're right at it yeah you're at the cusp of like getting ready for the climax help. yeah okay <laughs> and then afterwards you're kind of in this like oh man like that went by too quickly, and now I don't really know what to do besides eat all this Halloween candy. And then after that, you're just looking forward to next Halloween. At least that's how it works for me. Yeah, well, <laughs> needless to say, we're both excited for another opportunity to dive into this madman's art and, and appreciate all the craziness that is Internet Historian, whether it be in incognito mode or we can search his history. We can search his old history, but not his new history, unless we go to incognito mode. <laughs> now which I'm just confused. It's so warped. But here we go. This is spooky. Period. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> what is spooky? Is this kind of spooky? How about this? Jump scare. What if I built up tension, like I was going to do another jump scare? But then I didn't. But then I did. Aha, I have jump scared you. I will wait here so that I can do my ultimate spooking. That's what I'm most my terrified ultimate of. ultimate spooking. And then I'll just load some of these Halloween themed bullets. Oh All my this god. And more on jump scare. Phobias. Oh. I don't know if you explicitly want to talk about your phobias because I kind of don't. I don't like moths. <laughs> moths kind of suck. Yeah, it's not that I'm afraid of moths, it's that I know what they're like. And what's going to happen is, if I try to live and let live with a moth in the room, <laughs> you're going to bump into the light bulb for a while, and then you're going to find a way to get down the back of my shirt. I just don't want to have, <laughs> oh, so I go no. out of my way to kill moths. Being a personality online, last thing you want is to be him. like, oh, no. I'm, I'm terrified of beautiful woman's breasts. And then you, know, you wake up next day with 500 <laughs> DMs, be like, oh, look at this loser, <laughs> and you're like, no! <laughs> Yeah, Which, okay. by the way, is my phobia. I don't find <laughs> butterflies to be very beautiful either. Same. They're just larvae with wings. Yeah, but aren't we all? <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess you could classify ghosts as a phobia. Why are all ghosts from, like, the 1800s? How can Seriously? we never just see some guy who died, like, two weeks ago wearing, like, a Gucci shirt <laughs> Gucci or something? Shirt. I've seen modern ghosts. What, in real life? <laughs> in movies and stuff. <laughs> okay. Usually it's, like, just after the accident, though. So, you know, sixth sense. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's this scene with a bike crash, and it's, like, the moment that the mum starts to believe. Mm. And she goes, you know, how do you know that? Like, with tears in his eyes. She's standing beside my window. But then it's just this extra with no lines. Yeah. And so it's kind mm -hmm. of standing there with, like, a bloodied up head. But then it goes, what's my cue? <laughs> and it just sort of walks away in this very, like, nonchalant. <laughs> and it's so funny. <laughs> it's funny, right? It's not just me. Like, it's, it's this really well done dramatic moment. But then yeah. the bike like, She just kind of feels a bit awkward. She's like, uh... I'll come back later. <laughs> I do think that that is a potential market that has not been tapped. Airbnbs that are 
gimmick Ooh. haunted. So, okay, so some of the ah. cabinets, the hinges are you know installed a certain way so that they like naturally swing open more than they should. <laughs> wow. Stuff like that. Yeah, Fuck, that would be awesome. Low actuators that like open up doors late yeah. at night. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, oh fuck. Screw and then you've that. got like a story to go home with. Why the hell isn't that a thing? Okay, let's say you've booked in the Airbnb and you're <laughs> on your way there. Yeah. It's like this one dirt road, and so they've hired a guy, Steve. You gotta get out there. You're, you're, There's this old British oh, man with a flat cap. You're, you're playing the role of the harbinger. In case you don't know what a harbinger is, it's, here's the scene from Cabin in the Woods. I've seen plenty come and go, getting back. That's your concern. You don't stay in the old cabin down the way, are you? Some say it's haunted. Ah, it was eight score years ago. The old Brown family. They, they had perished in a terrible fire. That's how they yeah. on the grounds ever since. You might be wondering why the house seems old if it caught on fire. Don't think about that too well, much. Well, it's made of asbestos, you see. <laughs> That's the real scary thing. Is it don't breathe the, too deeply the now. The silent killer. In fact, would you know that asbestos was actually... <laughs> stop it, stop it. Stop talking about the asbestos. He's got to get back onto the... Yeah, he's got a little earpiece in. <laughs> ah, they say the no Airbnb customers... Oh, my God. Oh, I know what you go. You go, you know, the whole house is yours. You know, feel free <laughs> to enjoy heart. it. But there is one rule. Do not open the door Fair to the up. basement. Oh yeah, that's good. And then that stays locked until like 11 p.m. And then it just unlocks itself. If a door like that unlocked, I would it. slam it shut and put a chair up <laughs> against it. You have to make a reason for them to go down there. So it, it would be something like... Like a child's voice. There's a Bluetooth down there as well. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, they see, that's good. Uh -huh. I guess, would you even yeah. try and sleep if you like paid money to stay at somewhere creep like that? No. I guess you would. Maybe. Maybe not. No. You might end up with just a bunch of drunk people who go, ah, I just fucking, yeah, yeah look, kick. ah, there's probably a Bluetooth speaker in there's here. There's like a, a fake child doll. And they like punch it and break it. <laughs> there's a lot of setup that's involved to like suspend mm. the display. What I was thinking was the power cuts out or, or ah. something along there. Oh, that's good. Okay. I've got it. Yeah. The power goes out, but they've given you a torch beforehand, yeah. but they're UV torches. Oh. And so when you turn oh. them on, there's like blood stains and shit all over the wall. No! <laughs> and it messages, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The lady. It's an experience yeah, instead of as a... It's an actual accommodation. <laughs> it would be brilliant. Because you get some businessman, it's just like, I had the worst <laughs> night's sleep. Oh, zero stars. Uh -oh. uh oh. Have you seen the Saw movies? I haven't, but I've watched all of your movie sucks. As, but the question uh, is, how would oh, you a design thing? a Saw trap? First of all, you have to design a Saw trap that I think it's meant to make them appreciate life. Right, so you have to put me in the Saw trap. What's my crime? Internet historian, would you like to play a game? Yeah, why not? That sounds fun. I like games. <laughs> Very relaxed about the whole situation. Th oh, what a wonderful nap. <laughs> <laughs> I was right in the middle of the day as well. I so refreshed. That was great, thank you. So what happens next? You wake up taped to a deck chair wow. and the little saw man comes out. For your crimes of not I replying to my that. DMs one time. <laughs> yeah. Your pinky finger is trapped in a vice grip. Oh no, that's my favorite of all my fingers. <laughs> the handles of the vice grip are electrocuted. The only way to remove it is to unplug the electricity, but the plug is at the bottom of a tube of smartphones, which are all logged into your Twitter account with tweets already typed out containing the N-word. Oh no, right, so you have to like not touch the, oh my god. And at oh, first I'm like, I'm not gonna go near that god. thing. That's too high a price to pay, man. <laughs> but then I would put my pants over my hands and now I'm digging no. through phones and I'm not setting them off. What are you doing? I have passed the trap. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! Stop. Oh, you Stop. don't want me to do it like that. Out and Wouldn't that be great if he just not thought of like one really <laughs> obvious thing? <laughs> right, you suddenly wake up in a lazy boy chair. Oh, this is this is pretty good. You are duct taped to the lazy boy chair. This is still fine. And suddenly, the television turns on. Uh, hello, oh my God. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You've never appreciated having legs. Dear God. That's so, literally as how punishment, those movies are. Yeah. You're gonna have to, um... I don't want to be a critic, but, uh, I mean, usually when I'm kidnapped, people have it more planned out than us. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so, as you can tell, the cuffs of your pants have small hooks in them. Oh. And they are connected to these chains on the wall. 
in this television it's going to turn into only sex scenes from popular movies <laughs> after oh, three no. minutes your pants will be all the way down and you will still be stuck to this chair and at that point a little bell will go off and your mom will be summoned into no! the room to catch you. Dave God, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's like so If you want to awkward. stop this from happening, you're going to have to cut off your own legs. <laughs> With what? Here. I got you this implement. We'll just let the editor decide what the implement is. Yeah. Wow. Did wow. Simon didn't foresee though. Right. I saw the Wolf of Wall Street with my ex-girlfriend's parents in the theatre. So oh. nothing will ever oh. beat that. Well, you could have turned to your girlfriend and gone, "Oh, we've done that one." <laughs> <laughs> and then I fucking look her dad in the eyes. Da, 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 da. There's like a Jeez. you never Damn. appreciated your foreskin when you had it. <laughs> Have you seen that video of the pigeons getting sucked into the grain silo? Oh yeah, it happens to people too. Yeah, well the oh well, the no, are in the grain, though. that's kind of like the no, they are in hubris does them in because they're yes, just yes, that's great. Kind of, oh, you love corn, do you? <laughs> well, here's an infinite supply of corn. Don't get sucked in. <laughs> I've never da, 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 da. Seen that. One of them goes in head first. He can see oh. it coming and he's like, This is my fate. Right, I am not afraid. <laughs> my ancestors will look down upon me. <laughs> Add time. Shit! Email, dude. Netflix, wow. Facebook, wow. Amazon, oh, YouTube, fans. Twitter. <laughs> Too many accounts. Too many. Oh. Well, now there is. It's me, Nordpass Woman. Oh, but. Shut up, ugly. It's time to use Nordpass. Store all of your accounts and passwords in one delicious place using just one master password. Wow, that sounds wow. Shut up. Oh my god, I cannot believe that those hackers managed to guess password one, two, three. Oops, you do it, broken. <laughs> now let's fix those passwords. Improve your security with big, sophisticated passwords, all randomly generalized. Uh, Here, let me install it now on your phone. No, no, thank you. Who oh, really? Can you believe what a total bee she is? Help, a I bee. am afraid of technology. Something, ah! something, password. Shut up, you handsome man. Did someone say a better way? No need to enter login info ever again. Use NordPass across all devices. Throw away this post it note. What was that? And give me Dirty your phone hands? number. We should go know. out sometime. With NordPass. I'm not really sure how this ad should end. Shut up and go to nordpass.com slash incognito to get 70% off to your plan plus additional free month plus 30 day money back guarantee. <laughs> I wanted to talk about those YouTube channels that call people at 3 a.m. Oh, that's a good one. Because I hate those with a passion. Guys, if I spin this fidget spinner, oh, I look at that. Spin. For five seconds, you guys have to smash the like button. Five, six, Seven, Whoa. eight, nine. That's pretty badass. Boom! I guys have to smash a like button. Fuck! All right, fine. <laughs> you win. So <laughs> you we are be it. What? What did he say? You tell me what he just said. You tell me right now. What did he actually say? <laughs> we are gonna be calling Thanos at 3 a.m. Okay, we're gonna be calling Thanos and his go love. <laughs> now, no, hold on. We gotta get in the mood. Editor, we gotta put in some of the spooky music. <laughs> Oh, then he has a dance montage. <laughs> oh, wow. Beautiful. Wait a minute. How did he get Thanos' number? Uh... <laughs> subscribe and turn on the little bell. I'm gonna be on the notice in case it's cool. <laughs> oh, come on, Hell please. yeah. Please, on, Thanos. Please. Come on. Hello? Hello. I mean, what else could I have expected? But like, <laughs> yeah. Just, somehow I'm still disappointed. <laughs> who is this? Uh, wait, who are you? <laughs> Called me. Yeah. Should I comment this? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do Disclaimer. it. Disclaimer: This is just a skit. What? Oh, what? what the fuck? Thanos. Oh my god. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> I did what? not see that coming. <laughs> this is one of my favorite videos. Look to the left of him oh, underneath that car poster. I didn't know this was a thing. That looks suspiciously like lights coming through blinds. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 
One hundred percent. The comments turn off. The like to dislike ratio is turn off. Okay, here's the thing. This must be semi-ironic, but the thing that's throwing me off is the threatening "we need to talk" kind of facial yeah. expression. <laughs> I have just called this, the yeah, yeah. Foster in Among Us, and on. I have terrible news about your balcony. Cray, cray, gang! It's the way I was cranking the building man coming at you with another leave videos. What the hell did he? And cray, cray, gang! It's the way I was cranking the building man. So he's saying, "What's up, YouTube?" And, uh, and what's cray, 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 cray. So his channel is Eli So Cray. Oh, yeah, you know, so, I, I got so that saying, one. But then issue with us, train the building man. And coming at you with another leave videos always. Wait. No, no, wait. No, the dabbing. This guy is so self aware. He knows. No, no, I know he is not. I guarantee you he's not. Guys, make sure you go check out that video after this video. FaceTime and pops for Eli so great. It was absolutely I can, I can, like, I can hear the things you're saying without staring at me <laughs> with enormous intensity. You need to start your videos with like a snappy kind of like, <laughs> what's up? It's your boy. This is going <laughs> back in a building with another. Better of a video for you today. Hello? Is this Among Us? <laughs> this guy is so self aware. This guy is brilliant. He's not! This is satire and it is genius. Let me ask you a question. How much treasure is on that boat? How much money worth of treasure? Again, no mention of treasure at any point in Among Us. Does he think they are scuba divers? Or like pirates? <clears throat> Something that involves <laughs> money on the high seas? One hundred million dollars. One hundred million dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This is so entertaining that, like, I actually don't even want to commentate over it. No, I agree. I am absolutely enthralled by it. I genuinely love this video. Banger of a video. Today we are calling the <laughs> internet historian who recently passed away. R.I.P. To my boy. Anyway, let's just jump into this. So first of all, before we get started, guys, make sure to follow my Instagram. You forgot the fidget spinner. I, if I can spin this no fidget, fidget spinner, spinner on this loaded gun in my <laughs> mouth for oh. more than three seconds, then you have to hit the subscribe button. Let me, first of all, let me just, I, I found this number on the dark web. I just think it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys, he DM'd me his number, so I'm just gonna call this now. Bring, 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 bring. Hello? <gasps> You've reached internet historian's voicemail. Oh, I'm not oh my god, you guys, did you hear that? The internet historian <laughs> just replied to me from beyond the grave. Oh. You get halfway through that, then your phone starts buzzing. <laughs> you gotta have the... Hey, sorry, no, I missed your call. What's up? <gasps> um, is this the real internet historian? Are you... Why are you talking like that? Yeah, it's me. What's up? When are you going to upload a new main channel video? It's been like six months. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Halloween. Damn. Did you do Halloween? Uh, growing up in rural New Zealand, not really, but kind oh. of. So we would dress up and, you know, do the whole like go around the houses. But it was probably like one in ten houses actually did it. Yeah. Nothing like American uh, Halloween. People That's didn't hard. really try. We went to two of them and they were like, mm. no, fuck off. <laughs> we're like, all right. I think one woman gave us 50 cents. It wasn't very good. What? My experience is that Halloween, I think, was my favorite holiday of anything. Really? Way better than Christmas or my birthday because you get to dress up, which is like oh, fun no. in the first place. I'm going to go wow. as uh, an Arabian night and put on blackface. And I'm I'll... going as Justin Trudeau. <laughs> so oh, Halloween Justin is great Trudeau. you have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. And it's one of the first yeah. times where you get to go out on your own. Yeah. You can do slightly criminal things and get away with it. It's brilliant. One time, I think I was a ninja. Yeah. Oh, you know, Fortnite Ninja Blevins. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Me and a couple of mates, we're walking around, and every second house is not doing Halloween. Yeah. But they would see you dressed up, and it's like, hold on, kids, just let me, um, let me see what's pantry. in the pantry. <laughs> they would come out with, like, a whole packet of Tim Tams. Oh, hell yeah. It's like, Tim 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 Tim. It's like, fantastic. And then once in a while, they would be like, oh, you know what? I'm not doing candy. You can have something healthy, and you get vegetables and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, I got an apple yeah. once. That was the worst. Bro, I got a full apple yeah. cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> What? It was three a and a cabbage. half kilos. It was enormous. That's awful. It was like, oh, this is our new fucking treasure for the evening. We were oh. walking along the streets. Some teenagers in a car see us with this big cabbage. And they're like, roll it, roll it. And so they got us to roll it onto the street. And then they're in their car, right? And so they would just like go forward and back and <laughs> try to run over the cabbage. And we were just having the it's like best of fucking it's so cool. Oh, it's just the best, man. And then you get home wow. and then there's just a whole bunch of candy. I love the idea of you having to like 
Diablo style inventory manage your bag with a cabbage <laughs> that's just <laughs> taking up like 12 slots and you're like wow can't get rid of it though drop item <laughs> Halloween I was dressed as Super Mario Yahoo! you're going as Chris Pratt Whoa. yeah I was a crisp rat <laughs> wow so Ooh. I was like 16 17 we were drinking grape juice because I was underage and we were like let's go to uh, McDonald's as all good stories Mac end Do on a night of debauchery right so it was Mac probably like Donald's. a 15 minute walk not too far away mm. side note the entire way one of my friends was like put his arms around me he's like James bro I fucking love you man just so you know I've always got your fucking back if anything fucking happens so we pulled up to an intersection okay. and a car pulled up and this dude who had been trying to finger me a second ago was like hey good night boys you having a good night mm. guy gets out of the passenger side this dude's right. like in his okay. late 20s eyes us all up <laughs> sees i'm the smallest <laughs> yeah right all i remember is being up and then i remember Me. being sideways holy shit and uh he had cracked me in my jaw holy Why? fuck he could have turned you into a ghost you hear about people who just ding their head off the concrete and they're done yeah so i mean maybe i am dead <laughs> healing show osmond's there <laughs> you look outside the window and i just walk away kind of <laughs> oh my on God. so i get smacked i'm on the ground yeah i didn't pass out i just got a walloping God and damn. he got back in his car and yeah. they peeled off up the street yeah conveniently a police cruiser pulls up so they didn't see any of that happen but all my friends are like go get that fucking car they just punched my friend <laughs> Cops yeah, peel off sure. up the road after them, you know, pull them over. And then they come nice. back to us and they're like, yeah, they say that uh, they didn't do anything. <laughs> and then they like, <laughs> see me on the ground, sake. like bleeding. The well, they obviously did something. <laughs> yeah. Ended up taking the guy to court. You took him to court? I did. Uh, and he, he pled not guilty. So what did you say? I, I hereby declare you honor. <laughs> this guy did a mischief to my face. <laughs> Take a look at my mug. <laughs> One woman screams and she's like, he's disgusting. It's just my normal face. Oh, and his speech impediment ever since. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what happened then? Did he go to jail? He pled not guilty, and I gave my statement. He said that my attire was offensive to him. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep in mind, Mario? dressed as Mario from the video game Mario. Yeah. Did you get punched by fucking Waluigi? <laughs> <laughs> No, they think about Damn. it. It wasn't a car. It was a cart they were in, and they drove <laughs> off onto like a big rainbow road in the sky. So what happened? Did he go to jail? So he pled not guilty, and then I think he was from up north. So he went back to like whatever town he was from, and and was being trialed in their court. And while he was awaiting his court date, he assaulted someone else. Uh, so uh, and, and mild brain damage, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I started a YouTube channel, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love creepy pasta. Oh, we should do like a really dumb creepy pasta. For like a video oh. game we both know. Oh, that would be quite good. Okay, guys, you'll never believe this story, but it's a hundred percent true. <laughs> when I was 14 years old, I really wanted to play the new game, Fallout 4. <laughs> but my parents wouldn't buy it for me. So one day I went to a garage sale. <laughs> Lo and behold, there was a copy of Fallout 4, but the disc was just an ordinary oh, no. disc, and someone had just written F-O-4 on it in a marker pen. It must have been a pirated copy. I wish I had known what I know now. <laughs> that is not or any ordinary copy of Fallout 4. When I installed the game, it came with a warning that said, may cause death. I <laughs> thought it was the developers trying to be funny. Holy shit, this is every game creepypasta. This, this, is, this, this is very accurate. <laughs> when I booted up the game, it wouldn't work properly. It would be a black screen. But then I messed around with the system files and I managed to get it working. I thought it was just my PC acting up because my mom wouldn't <laughs> let me buy a new graphics card. <laughs> The first thing I noticed was that there was already a save file on the game. I thought that was strange. I opened it up and it took me to the used. character creation menu. No, except the man standing in front oh, of the mirror disc. was dead. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Didn't know that. What? My wall just creaked and I got a fright because you were putting me on edge. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. I genuinely got scared by that. After I picked up my baby, the screen went black and, and I figured once again maybe my old PC had bugged out. But all of a sudden, it skipped to what seemed like a few hours in the game. I was back in the wasteland and I was talking to... <laughs> What's his name? Gar Preston Garby. Pre I was talking to Preston Garby. The only option it gave me was strangle. So I pressed the button. <laughs> 
And what happened next was an extremely graphic cutscene of my character cutting the circulation to Preston Garby. He uh, screamed in pain, and it wasn't like any of the usual voice acting. <laughs> this sounded real. I swear when I looked into his eyes, it was like the textures suddenly got hyper-realistic, and I thought oh I saw God. a reflection <laughs> of a person in it. I thought I saw myself. <laughs> Not only that, but the familiar Holy. Fallout UI went from being nuclear green to blood red. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes, I've been playing this game for a long time now, and I've started to notice some things. I feel like there's shadows in the corner of my room in real life. <laughs> I played for another 20 hours, literally exploring every crack and crevice, until finally I found the first NPC I'd seen in a literal day. <laughs> it was my dead wife, and she was still frozen, like she was in the cryo chamber. I started doing some research on the dark web. I found a post that said that actually, during oh the God. production of Fallout 4, one of the beta testers was forced to play the game for 20 hours straight to see if there was any bugs with the game being played for 20 hours straight. And the man died of dehydration. And then Todd Howard buried the body and he didn't want anyone to know. Something is not right. I feel like there's creatures all around me, like in the game. I can see map markers in the distance. Here's the worst oh part. God. I decided to webcam my friend, but when I opened the call, he said, why are you hanging out with Preston Garby? And I said, what? I'm all alone. I've got another twist. You got a oh, one? An alternate yeah. one. To my shock, when the webcam turned on, it wasn't my friend as I expected. It was the Todd Howard <laughs> staring back at me. I don't know who me. that is. <laughs> From his Bethesda. eyes were different. Ah. They were more evil. His eyes were black and as though he'd been crying blood. <laughs> he opened his mouth and only static came out. I was oh, terrified of what would happen. It, through the static though, I could hear something. He said, if you die in the game, <laughs> you die in real life. <laughs> Finish the game. That's it, yeah. <laughs> I hope this isn't my last entry. Things are getting really bad now. I went back to that neighbor's garage sale, and it turns out they've never even lived there. If I can end on one thing, it's to say this. If you find a pirated game at a garage sale, don't play. That's a great one. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go. <sighs> Have you, you you've played many a uh, garage garage? Oh my God! I love thrift shopping yeah. for games. Have it's I like ever found one? Thing that, ever. Have I ever found one that's cursed? <laughs> Probably a few. Operation Raccoon City. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking terrible. I've game. never bought a video game from um garage sale. You've bought used games though. Yeah, I have. But when I was a kid, and I think I said this on one of our like really old videos, um, I really wanted the game Mousetrap. Oh yeah. But I was too poor to like buy a brand new board game, which they're still expensive. Yeah. But anyway, there was this local thrift store? No, like um Indian Creek. Oh, flea market. Flea market. Flea market. Yeah. Jesus. And I don't know why my mom didn't look in the box, but she just bought it for me. And I like was like, hell yeah. And I get in the back and like, I got open and there's like three pieces and a, a kitchen steak knife. And I'm like five. Not the mouse trap you were looking for. No. Yeah. Gotcha. So that was cursed. It's pretty cursed. And um, I've never played the game. Oh, uh, for me. <laughs> There was a game that I really wanted. It was actually one of the Shimagami Tensai games. It was uh, three, um, and it, it's you know a very beloved game in the SMT series because it really kind of was one of the first games that people like lost their fucking minds about from that franchise mm. and. Uh, I just really wanted to play it, and I found it at, like, a yard sale for 10 bucks. and this was when I was early into, like, 
of collecting games. Didn't look inside of it. Bum, bum, bum. Get back to the crib. And it's like a scratched up sports game of some kind that didn't even play. I just saw. Did the, you pay a lot of money for it? No, I, I don't. It was like 10 or 15 bucks. Okay. I can't remember exactly, but it was like such a good deal, you know. They always are. Yeah. They always are. But that was pretty cursed. So if there were not haunted, haunted Airbnbs, would you stay at one? Not haunted, haunted? Yeah, like fake <clears throat> haunted. Oh, gimmicky haunted? Yeah. I think it would be fun, but it would suck, you know. It depends on how they set them up. I don't want it to be activated by, like, time, because then you'd walk around and maybe get hit in the face with a cabinet that just fucking opens up. Oh, like up the, and... you would have, people would have to, like, be watching and yeah. stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, not even that people would have to be yeah. watching or whatever, but if it was, like, motion, motion censored so yeah. it knew that you weren't there or something. I don't know, man. I would rather my say, shit. I already that. get hit in the face by drawers and shit that don't automatically you come do that. open. Chad has ADHD, so like he leaves the the cabinets open on accident, and then like he'll be cooking and they'll hit himself in the face. I do sometimes. It, it happens. It happens. I'm trying to think of what else. The saw thing was funny, and I oh, like yeah. how it was like specific to like. Sex scenes only in movies. Oh, yeah, Like, yeah, not yeah, yeah. actually and anything. And then your mom comes in. <laughs> and your pants are down. That's Pretty funny. funny. Yeah. I mean, like, she's not going to notice that you're, like, duct taped to a lazy boy and that there's, uh, No. I mean, if that's what in you're pants. into, I'm not... True, true, true. I'm not true. Gonna, uh, I guess that would... Hate on you for that. The yeah. whole scene would not be pleasant. Yeah. In any way, shape, or form. But I'll tell you what was having an internet historian drop they even busted his balls about the fucking uh not having not an dropping original. a video on the his original channel so funny very funny good stuff i can't believe you didn't know who todd howard was well we watched that video yeah, but, but it's it wasn't so just long. that game it wasn't just fallout 76 he's over like all of Bethesda. But, like, let's think about it for a second. Why would I Why would you know? know well, that. because you have me constantly talking this shit to you, and you completely ignore it. <laughs> completely ignore it. It's, like, not relevant to, like, anything that I need to know, so why contain that? Right? Because... I learned about it? Okay. Because mo most people would say that, you know, you need to be aware of him, so you need to be weary of it because... Oh, he's gonna trick me. He's gonna get you dollars. Well, I don't play he's video gonna, games, He's so. going to start making, like, you know, feminine products featuring Skyrim. Like, the Skyrim edition of Maxi I'm Pads. Sure some people would totally want that. He has put... He will be putting Skyrim on dollar. anything that will possibly be able to have it on it, ever. Always. Sure. And then charge you $60 for it. Shorty's sure, really wanting to be a part of this video Shorty today. Shorty has been so hungry for attention. Yes. It is ridiculous, but I love him. Yeah. He's beautiful. But he Hi, is Shorty. a goblin. Anyway, what a video. How spooky. Oh, it's spooky period. It's internet historian <laughs> incognito mode, y'all. Check it out in the description. We're going to have a link to the original mm -hmm. video. So you should go support internet historian and uh, help his channel Incognito grow even more, mode. like the videos, comment. Uh, you could also do those things with our channel if you wanted to. If you want to like, subscribe, that would be awesome. comment on our stuff. Let us know videos you would like for us to react to in the future because we always love the suggestions. Yeah, you can leave a recommendation in the Discord, which will be linked in the description or in the comments below. That's right. And we also have uh, another channel that I'm on, Renegade Media Group. Yep down in the description as well you okay. should go check that out see more of me and some other cool people too we do live streams every monday night and every thursday night at 6 30 eastern time and what else they end at 8 30 yeah um, <laughs> ish what else i think that's it but we enjoyed having you all here and uh we'll see you next time see you